From the heart of the limestone city in Kingston, Ontario, I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, April 20th, 2022. Kingston police have arrested two men following a call from witnesses reporting someone brandishing a handgun in the city's north end. According to police, the incident began before police were contacted around 5 p.m. on Monday, April 18th, when a 34-year-old man entered an Elliott Avenue residence without authorization. Police say this is not the first time that the man has attempted to gain entry to the residence without permission and that he had been attending the property in question on a near daily basis, loitering in the backyard and refusing to leave. According to police, an 18-year-old resident took matters into their own hands and chased the man from the property brandishing a realistic-looking Glock-style pellet gun. Police say the younger man chased the older man out to Division Street, where a physical altercation ensued, and the young man struck the older man with the gun several times, according to witnesses who called police. Both men were arrested and faced charges. Police are asking all of us to be on the lookout for a missing woman, 67-year-old Janice Van Dyke of Kingston. According to police, Van Dyke was last seen on Wednesday, April 13th, and is known to frequent the area of Bath Road near Princess Street. She is described as white, 5 foot 2, approximately 119 pounds. She has short graying hair, blue eyes, and wears glasses. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of this missing woman is asked to contact Kingston Police. A reminder that anonymous tips can be left by calling the main line and simply asking to remain anonymous. OPP are looking for clues after someone damaged the fence posts and gates of the KMP trail between Colebrook Road and Boyce Road in South Frontenac Township at some point overnight between April 9th and 10th. Police estimate the damage to be more than $10,000. Bill Blair, the Minister of Emergency Preparedness, was at the YMCA on Wright Crescent in Kingston on Tuesday with Kingston and the Island's MP Mark Gerritsen to speak about the federal government's budget for 2022. Specifically, the pair were chatting about the Canada-Ontario Early Learning and Child Care Agreement, which is a five-year deal that reduces child care fees in the short term and will deliver $10 a day daycare for families in Ontario by the end of March 2026. Rain barrels are now available from Utilities Kingston, and this year they're even more sustainable as they are now recycled rain barrels made from repurposed durable plastic barrels that were once used to store food. There is a limit of two per account and are sold at cost, just $66 each, and will be added to your next billing cycle. You can order online or by phone for home delivery. And for the first time in two years, the multidisciplinary youth arts festival, the Juvenis Arts Festival, is back for in-person performances. Juvenis will run from Wednesday, April 27th to Saturday, May 7th, with eight events, more than 20 workshops, and nearly 100 youth participants, according to a release. All performances and exhibitions are produced entirely by youth ages 30 and under. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.